First Timothy chapter 3. Bishops and clergy in the congregation. This saying is ever true. If a person seeks the throne or responsibility of a bishop, he seeks an excellent task. A bishop must be of impeccable character, the husband of one's spouse, self-disciplined, earnest of decent conduct, kind and benevolent, capable of instructing the church, not a drunk, not a violent person, not a miser, but a gentleman, peaceful and tranquil, contented, a leader who governs his own household decently and properly, making his offspring obedient and respectful. For if a person does not know how to govern his own household, how can he maintain or be a good custodian of the congregation of Almighty God? He must be learned and experienced in spiritual matters, that he may not be filled with conceit, only to fall and be condemned as Satan was. Furthermore, he should be an honorable person, highly esteemed by the masses outside the congregation, that he may not be embarrassed and fall into the snare of Satan. Similarly, deacons must also have a decent conduct and be candid and sincere. They must not be drunks or misers. They should firmly embrace the mystery of the faith with a spotless conscience. But let these believers be tested first and let them minister as deacons if they succeed and are found impeccable. And their spouses likewise must be of decent conduct, not slanderers or backbiters, self-disciplined, loyal in everything. Deacons should be husbands of only one spouse, governing their offspring and their households decently and properly. Those deacons who conduct their business decently and properly achieve for themselves an excellent standing and tremendous confidence in their faith in Jesus Christ. As I inscribe this episode to you, I hope to come and visit you shortly. But if I experience some delays, I inscribe these words so that you may be aware how you should behave. Behave yourself in the residence of Almighty God, which is the congregation of the ever-living God, the pillar and support of the eternal truth. Without dispute, without controversy, how tremendous is the secret of piety. Almighty God appeared in the earthly body and was proven right in the heavenly spirit. Seen by divine angels, proclaimed among non-Jews, embraced throughout the world, and was finally received up in heavenly splendor.